high school is preparing for Yusuko. Also have a bunch of other commitments, like extracurriculars, AP classes, clubs, sports, yada yada yada. And so finding time to prepare for Yusuko is super critical. And you want to make sure you're doing that, but you also have all this other stuff. So in this video, I'm going to go over some of the things that I did so that when I was able to manage all my extracurriculars and stuff, but still make Yusuko camp three times and eventually get into MIT. Because as you probably know, to get into a top college, you need something critical like Yusuko, but also you need the other stuff. Like you need the other extracurriculars in your AP classes too. So here's sort of how I balanced it. The main thing I did was I found time where I could have good quality time to prepare for Yusuko. And here's what I mean by that. When I was in junior year of high school, I was taking like a bunch of AP classes. So I'd take like five AP classes, come home from an eight hour day of school, and I'd just be exhausted. And so if I tried to prepare for Yusuko at that time, I'd be spending a lot of time and I wouldn't really make as much progress, right? I was even finding that I wasn't able to solve problems then that I would be able to solve at other points in time. I wasn't able to solve problems at the higher difficulty that I was able to get at other points in time. And I was like, okay, well, this isn't really working. So I was spending large amounts of time and getting small progress. And if I was preparing at times where I had good mental focus, I was spending a small amount of time making huge progress, making a lot of improvement in Yusuko. So I was like, okay, how do I find time where I have a higher focus? And clearly, right after school where you're like mentally drained from all those hard classes all day, it's not, it's not the right time to do it. And so one good period of time that is good to do it is weekends. Where you wake up on weekend morning, you wanna leave that time free for mentally uh, intense activities like used to come. And let's say you have volunteer work or something on the weekends. You really wanna push that to weekday evenings if possible. And the reasoning is you can probably do your volunteer work without a full mental bandwidth, right? At, even at 50% of your mental capacity, you could probably do your volunteer work. You don't really need 100%, which you do need for Yusuko. And we probably have more than 50% after school. So you're really set to go doing your volunteer work on weekday evenings. Um, and this will allow you to have high bandwidth time to really put in that focus and attention on Yusuko on the weekends. Because I don't know about you, but I'd rather spend a small amount of time and get a huge improvement rather than spending a huge amount of time and getting a small improvement. And so, yeah, that was the first shift I did. I moved all my volunteering stuff to after school on weekdays. And uh, based on that, so we'll have a lot more time on the weekends to prepare for Yusuko. The second way to get um, high intensity or like high focus time is what, what I did was I woke up earlier in the mornings. So I would go to sleep earlier in the evenings, work up in the morning, so get my full nine hours of sleep. And I will just prepare in the mornings where I was focused instead of doing it after school or before school. Because I can go to school without full focus and I'll be just okay. But I cannot prepare for Yusuko without full focus. Another thing that's super key to preparing for Yusuko is getting your enough sleep. So, you know, I told you that like, I was going to bed early and waking up early. And so I still got that full nine hours of sleep because if you're not sleeping the full amount, your focus is gonna be lower and your attention is gonna be lower. And you're not going to solve as hard problems. Make sure you're getting your full sleep regardless of anything else every single night. Now, some people don't like sleeping early and waking up early. So the option you have is you can just take a nap after school. Right after school, you take your nap and then you have your single time. Okay, now one thing I don't want this to be misinterpreted as is that you have to be in perfect condition to prepare for Yusuko. And that is not at all true, right? You want to, if you want to be consistent, if you want to really achieve stuff, you want to be consistent, which means you want to be practicing on a consistent basis. And every day is not going to be a super great day. But if you do tricks like this where you make sure you're not doing it when you're extremely drained, and to be honest, you're extremely drained like basically every day of the week after school. So a lot of the time you're going to be drained. So you, if you really can take that time and put a put your sickle time when you're not drained, then you're going to see an overall improvement in the way you do it, in the way you enjoy your prepare and in your improvement. Um, but you still want to make sure that, you know, you're having a bad day, still practice, just still solve some problems. Don't, don't stress about it too much. This is just an overall things you can do to make sure overall you're more focused and you get better improvements. And one thing I want to add to this too is, you know, if you're thinking like, oh yeah, I'll just wait till I feel perfect. There's never going to be perfect conditions. I'm just telling you how to massively improve your average condition, but it's never going to be perfect. So don't misinterpret that way for perfect conditions. So we'll keep preparing on a consistent basis. But this just means like, if you notice that you're consistently tired whenever you're doing Yusuka, you've been doing it for like a week or so. Okay, stop and change the way you're practicing, right? If you're consistently tired, you're probably spending a large amount of time and getting a tiny amount of improvement. You're wasting your time. Do not, do not, do not do that, right? You should have more, uh, you should have more value for your time than to allow yourself to do that. So if that's the case, then be like, okay, how can I reframe it? When am I most focused? Let's prepare for Yusuko then. 
The other thing I would say in order to get more time to prepare for Yusuko, and you're talking about getting high quality time, but also getting more quantity of time is also important, right? So you want quality, quality over quantity for sure. But quality and quantity is just better than just quality. So if to get more time, the main thing I tell you there is say no to certain stuff. It's okay to say no to certain activities. And you're gonna find that, you know, if you're one of the top Yusuko prepare people at your school, or even if you just want to just good at the competition, there's gonna be a lot of people wanting to get your advice and your um, input on stuff, right? And you know, if someone calls, like, I think it's the most typical thing is like someone calls your parents being like, hey, your kid's doing this great thing. I wanna to talk to your kid. Uh, and then now your mom's being like, hey, can you talk to this friend of mine's kid? You know, you can talk to them and like help them out, but make sure you limit your time, right? Make sure like, okay, I'll just talk to them for like 15 minutes or do something like that. And that's one of the small things that only happens once in a while. But so one of the bigger things I've seen is like, so personally, I was president of the computer science club at high school. And then we started a girls code club and I was voted president there. And I was like, you know what? I don't really have time to be president for both of these. So I swapped with the vice president of the girls code club. So then I was vice president and she was president. And now my time greatly freed up and it didn't really make a huge difference. I was still vice president. I was still president of the different computer science club, right? And so just by saying no to that, I got a lot more time back. And the time goes to where I used to cope where I have a lot bigger improvement. And frankly, it's because it's more fun than running a club, at least at least for me it was, right? So make sure that you're um, saying no to different commitments that won't really help you get where you want to be. Um, and that way you can spend your time on fun things and more useful things. And for me, Yusuko was more fun and was more useful too. So yeah, keep those in mind when preparing for Yusuko. Make sure you're at full focus and make sure you get as much time as possible for it. And yeah, if you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments below and I will try to make videos on as many different question topics as I get. So go ahead and do that, and I'll see you next video later. Bye.